Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your family blonde. Fabulously. Never Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willowine, and we're here at Yappy Hour at the Garden City Hotel. And I'm here with this young lady from Maserati Ferrari. And Maserati Ferrari is a big sponsor of the Little Shelter. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, everyone. My name is Stephanie Barbuck. I'm here with Ferrari Maserati of Long Island. We're sponsoring this very special Yappy Hour tonight with a car display right outside. I see, and your car is magnificent, a gorgeous convertible right outside, brand new and ready to go. Now, you've been a sponsor of Little Shelter for a very long time. Yes, we have, actually. We have a very nice, long history of events. We've done doggy fashion shows. We sponsor their Halloween event every year. Uh, we do a lot of things. We love to keep Little Shelter involved. We have them as the beneficiary of a lot of our events. And, of course, the big event is oh. the Halloween party that everybody from all over New York comes to because it's a kick-ass Halloween event, the best all over New York, and you are a major sponsor sponsor of that event. Yes, we are. We absolutely love being a part of that every single year. We love it. Tell me, guys, if you want to find out more information about Maserati, Ferrari, where can we go? Sure. Go to www.experienceautogroup.com. You'll find our website for Ferrari Maserati of Long Island as well as our other dealerships. Terrific. Well, thank you so much, darling. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. Well, yeah, we'll be back in a moment with more interviews right here at Yappy Hour. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and I'm here at Yappy Hour at the Garden City Hotel. And I'm here with this lovely lady who is a big sponsor of Little Shelter, and she's going to introduce herself to the camera. Sure. Hi. I'm Lisa Hendrickson. I work at 1-800-Flowers.com over here in Carl Place, New York. Now, I understand that you donated all the flowers here for this particular event as well. Yes, we donated all the flowers. We do pretty much for all of their events. We've been working with Little Shelter for the past two years. Now, let me ask you, their big gala is their Halloween party. Yes. What's going to happen with that? What, what's the flower arrangements for that? I, you know, we've done it two years in a row. The first year we did, um, we did these dog arrangements and we made them all crazy different characters for Halloween. Last year we went more with kind of a, a New Orleans kind of theme and did red roses. Not sure about what we're going to do this year, but we'll find out from Tito what the theme is. Oh, we have we to love make... that event. Oh, so do I. It's my favorite yep. event. Now, let me ask you, um, why did you, how did you get involved with Little Shelter? Tell my voice a story. Sure, it's a great question. So two, three years ago, 100 Flowers um, had asked all the employees over the summer and said, you know, we're not busy during the summer. It's, we're past Mother's Day, we're past Valentine's Day. We want to do something where our employees go out in the community and give back. So they asked um, everybody who wanted to be Smile Ambassadors, and I volunteered to be a Smile Ambassador, and we selected a local charity that we wanted to be involved with. 
I love animals. I picked a little shelter, and so we've been working with them for two years now, going into our third year. You also have a very interesting story, uh, how you adopted this wonderful dog right here, Max. Tell my audience a story. Now, of course, this dog is from Little Shelter. Yes, he is. Explain to my audience how this adoption came about. Well, I volunteer personally there as well, so I walk dogs and clean the cattery, and the first day that I signed the paperwork, I walked out with him. I'm in love with pugs. I have a pug at home, and Max happened to come into the shelter that week. My daughter and I fell in love with him, and we took him home that day. Oh, my yep. God. And he's had a happy life ever since. He looks very happy, yeah. very content. Yes, well, he was this fat when I got him. We didn't make him this chubby. <laughs> so you feed him well. Yes, we well, although we've maintained his, his weight. Okay. Yep. Now, when you, when you got this dog, he must have been very thin. Oh, him? Yeah. No. He was, no, he was about the same size. He was the same, same size. size. Okay, so they treat a little shelter. That means little shelter treats their dogs very they well. They treat them very well. Very, very well. Yeah. Yep. So. Tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about adoption for Little Shelter. Sure, Little Shelter has an incredible Facebook page, so if you, you uh, look up Little Shelter, it'll come up, and you'll go to that page, and they'll talk to you about all the adoptions, they'll show you the adoptions that are happening, the dogs that come in. They also have their contact information if you want to speak to them directly, but they're open seven days a week. They're there. They always have beautiful dogs that are well taken care of. Wonderful. What about your website? Where can we go for 1-800-Flowers? Sure, it's 1-800-Flowers.com. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Dolly. Thank you so Thank much you for a so wonderful much. interview. Thank you. And oh, don't go away yet. The band was lovely. We'll be back in a moment, Dolly. There's more interviews right here at the Yappy Hour. Pink Champagne Kisses. I'm Cognac Willalane, and I'm here with Stephanie Materis, and she's a big supporter of Little Shelter. Tell my audience how you became involved with this organization. Well, I'm the spokeswoman for the Mayor's Alliance for New York City's Animals, and we're a coalition of 150 plus rescue groups in the greater New York City area, and Little Shelter is one of our alliance organizations. My goodness. Yeah. So it's a great group. Um, Tito Cologne. Oh, I love him. I love him. And David Seeley. They do so much for animals in the community. And they do wonderful events like this where they feature adoptable animals and really bring everyone together. And every person that's looking to get a pet should really first look at little shelters group of animals because they have beautiful pets and all different types, even pedigrees. People don't know that. They have actually beautiful little pedigree dogs. They, you know, if you're looking for a dog, go, go there first. Don't you agree? I absolutely agree. You can find any breed of dog, whether you want a mixed breed or a purebred dog, they're all available in the shelters. And I just saw a beautiful pair of bonded Pomeranians just walk by that are from Little Shelter and they're looking for home together. So it's great. Tell us a little bit more about what you do uh, for your organization. Great. So as a spokesperson for the Mayor's Alliance for New York City's Animals, I help promote positive uh, pet parent tips. I also talk about adoption, fostering animals, the importance of spaying and neutering, and other animal welfare issues. Can you tell my audience some pet parent tips? Yes. Well, we all know we're in the summer, it's hot out, so never leave your dog in the car, as we know. all know. know. Luckily, it's becoming a law in a lot of states where now people can actually rescue the dogs and break into the vehicles, but a dog can die within a matter of minutes in a hot car. Oh, my God. Yeah, so if you're I shopping... I can't believe that people do that. I can't believe it either. I take my dogs everywhere, and I roll them in a stroller. I, even, <laughs> I know, me too. I wouldn't even leave my dog. I wouldn't leave my dog even in the winter time in the car. No, I in any type of extreme heat or cold you would never leave your animal in the car so that's that's one pet parent tip always bring them with you or leave them home in the air conditioning if you can't bring them in the store what's a what's a good pet parent tip for an elderly dog I have a Yorkie that's like she's like 12 years old uh -huh. she's blind yeah. what can I do to make her life a little easier well, elderly dogs make great pets. They're just very low key. So letting her have a lot of time to rest um, and get her sleep and just give her love. I mean, animals can live to be 15, 16 years I old. Know, I had a dog that lived to be 18. That's how. You did? Yes. My <laughs> people say, you must, you really took very good care of your Aww. dog for her to live to be 18 years old. 
That's incredible. Well, I don't. I think you should share some pet parent tips because what did you do to make your dog live that long? Just like you said, I loved her to death, and that's why she lived as long as she did. She didn't want to die. She just wanted to be with me all the time. Oh, that's so beautiful. You're never ready to say goodbye, no matter how old they are. Never. Never. Tell my audience the website. Where can we go to find out more information? If you want to learn more about the Mayor's Alliance, you can visit www.animalalliancenyc.org. Very nice. Thank well, you thank for you so me. much, Dolly. Give me a kiss. Don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment with more interviews right here at the Yappy Hour at the Garden City Hotel. Be champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we're here at Yappy Hour, right here at the Garden City Hotel. And I'm here with this gorgeous blonde who is a big supporter of Little Shelter. Introduce yourself to the camera, doll. My name is Laura Pedricelli, and I'm actually, my company is called Couture Concepts New York, and we've been sponsoring and supporting Little Shelter for about 10 years now. So. Ten years, ten marvelous years. Tell my audience a little bit more about Contour co Concepts. Couture Concepts. We couture Concepts, excuse <laughs> me. We actually do um, couture event planning and wedding planning as well as marketing. So we try to think outside of the box a little bit, when it, whether it's a wedding we're doing or a charity event, a fashion show, um, or a corporate event. And we kind of put the whole package together and make everything as personalized and couture as possible. Now, do you do uh, most of your business is this on Long Island or is it in Manhattan? It, Tell my audience. It is. Um, we're actually based in Huntington, uh, Long Island, but we go all over the place. We're going to Denver, um, Aspen, Miami, um, so we travel all over the place for events and weddings. Wow, that's wonderful that you do all that. Yeah. So you're, so you're really international. You're really national. National for now, hopefully international soon. And, um, you know, we just keep, everything's word of mouth. We don't advertise. We're kind of on the higher end of the spectrum. So we really cater to a luxury type of marketplace. Um, I, as you know, I used to be with uh, Experience Auto Group for the past five years. Um, you did marvelous work there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So, to say the least, I was always kind of intertwined in the luxury marketplace, whether it was with Ferraris and Maseratis or luxury weddings and events. I want to see you in the Hamptons, darling. I want to see you do some events in the Hamptons. We do, but you'll have to invite me to some of your upcoming events. Okay. <laughs> I will. I will. I want you to tell my audience where we could go to find out more information. What is the website of Couture Concepts? So our website is www.coutureconceptsny.com. Now you're having, before we finish this interview, you're also having another event happening. Tell my audience about the gala that's going to be taking place on August 8th. It's actually August 9th. August um, 9th. <laughs> it's at Beth Page Polo at the Park, which is actually one of our clients. Um, as of this year, we've taken over all the events and marketing for Beth Page Polo, um, which happens every Sunday from 2 to 5 p.m. at Beth Page State Park, right in Long Island. So if you're looking for something fun to do, it's a great time um, for everybody and kids of all ages also. But actually, on August 9th, we're going to be raising money for the Carol M. Baldwin Foundation which raises money for breast cancer research. Um, so it's actually going to be a ladies' day, so we'll have spas, um, jewelers, and clothing pop-up boutiques, the Pink Link in Huntington. Um, so we're going to have a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> My dog is going crazy. Um, he sees a lot of puppies that she yeah. wants to play with. Yeah, I think I think he sees his future girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> tell Laura, tell my audience one more time the website. So my website is Couture Concepts NY com, and if you wanted more information about Ladies Day at Beth Page Polo, they can go to BethPagePolo.com. You're gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews right here at Yappy Hour at the Garden City Hotel. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. in a crybaby productions darlings